Greetings, I hope you're good and well. I'm doing a book review today for The Outsider by Albert Camus. Albert Camus wrote this book in 1942 in the midst of World War II. I would describe it as a philosophical novel. It's written in the first person narrative and it follows, follows the story of a young man called Merceau He's a young man, he works as a clerk of some kind. He's like an office worker. And he lives in a small flat in a place called Algiers in North Africa. The storyline for The Outsider is very simple. Merceau, in the beginning scene, or the beginning chapter, attends the funeral of his mother. And during which he shows very little emotion. And then the next day, he meets a woman who he hasn't seen in many years. He goes swimming with her, he goes to the cinema, and then he takes her home. Shortly after that, he bumps into a neighbour of his, who's a little bit shady, and this neighbour asks him for help. He's having some kind of argument with a woman, and he asks him to write a letter for him, and he kind of gets involved in this dodgy business. Shortly after that, he goes to the beach with this neighbour and he ends up having a fight with some Arabs. And young Merceau, for reasons that are still debated to this day, ends up shooting one of the Arabs and kills them, kills him. After the shooting, Merceau then gets taken to prison. Then he goes to court and then he stands trial for the shooting of the Arab. Thank you for making it to the halfway point of this video. This is a quick message to let you know that I have a range of horror and science fiction books available, and most of them are completely free. If you enjoy my work, you can support me without spending any money at all by simply leaving a review for one of my free books on Amazon, Goodreads, or any of the retailers' websites. You'll be helping me to grow as an author and a book reviewer. The links for my books are below and your help is much appreciated. Now, back to the video. The strength of this book is not in the storyline itself. The storyline is very simple. The strength of this book comes in the attitude of Merceau. Merceau is apathy personified. He simply doesn't care about anything. He drifts through life in a kind of carefree manner. He doesn't care about much and it could be said that life happens to Merceau. Merceau doesn't live life. life. Things just happen to him and he kind of takes it and lets it all go over his head. The, the, the strength of the story comes in the young man's attitude to life and his kind of philosophy to life. As I mentioned earlier, at his mother's funeral, he doesn't cry. He just sits there smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee during his mother's funeral. And even at the shooting on the beach, there's nothing passionate about him. He just pulls out his gun under the blazing hot rays of the sun and he pulls the trigger several times. He's not excited, he just does it for no apparent reason. And after the shooting, when he's standing in court during his trial, he's very nonchalant. He's very apathetic. He doesn't seem to care whether he gets a life sentence or a death sentence or whether he gets his freedom. And that is where the whole point of the outsider lies. Young Merceau seems to have a deep understanding of the complete futility and pointlessness of life. That understanding is set deep into his bones. And this detachment and lack of emotion is disturbing to everybody around him. And it's especially disturbing to the jury in court when deciding whether he's innocent or guilty. 
The book is called The Outsider in reference to young Merceau's complete detachment from the rest of society. And by the way, th this book was released in the USA as The Stranger. And I think the original book uh, in France, I think this was published in French originally, and that was also The Stranger, but for some reason in the UK it was published as The Outsider. But uh, The Outsider, The Stranger, it basically refers to the protagonist's detachment from the rest of society and his carefree manner. He, nothing seems to matter to him. Do I like this book? Yes, I do like it. I, I've read it twice now. It, this is a second reading for me. I do like it, but I also think that it's quite overrated. At the end of the day, there's, there's nothing exciting about this book. It's basically just a very flat story about a man who goes through his days in a very boring, carefree manner. Now, I know that that's the point. That is the whole entire point of the book. It's supposed to be flat and it's supposed to portray this philosophy of nihilism. I get that. But, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, it's a flat read. It, it's not exciting. And I, I did have to push myself through it both times, the first and the second time. I did have to push myself through this book. Um, it, it's an interesting concept, interesting philosophy. And I, I can actually relate to the philosophy. I can relate to the nihilism. I can relate to the melancholy. And uh, so, that, you know, I kind of um, sympathise with, with the book in that way and I relate to it in that way. I, I'm, I kind of relate to the protagonist in a way. I mean, I'm not quite as nonchalant as Merceau, but I've certainly got that quality to a certain extent. This book is also a translation and uh, I've got a problem with translations because when you read a translation you're not really reading the, the author's prose, you're reading the prose of the translator and so a certain amount of uh, nuance is lost in translation. You could say that it's a kind of neutered version of the book or a neutered version of the story. <clears throat> um, I gave this book three stars on Goodreads. If there was an option to give 3.5 stars on Goodreads, I would have done that. I would have given it 3.5 stars. But I gave it three because you can't do half stars. It loses marks for me because it is so flat and there's just no excitement in there at all. That, you, you have to kind of push yourself through it. Should you read this book? You should read this book if you're into philosophy and you should read this book if you identify with the philosophy of nihilism, antinatalism, or if you're generally apathetic in everyday life. If you often see life as kind of pointless, and you get depressed, then you should read this book. It won't cheer you up. I'm not saying it's going to cheer you up, it might make you worse. But if you're of that kind of disposition, then this book might interest you. So there it is. Um, that's my review of The Outsider, aka The Stranger. Read it if you're into philosophy. Uh, but it if you like a bit of excitement in your books, and if you like complex storylines and twists and turns, and if you like to be on the edge of your seat, don't bother. Don't read it, okay? Thanks very much for watching. Try to have a good day on this absurd, apathetic, nonchalant piece of rock we call Earth. Lots of love. Goodbye.